So this is how we do the seated curl and press. You want a bench with a high back. And what I would advise when doing this one is take your non-working arm and just hold on to the seat. It makes you feel a little bit more based. You can also pop it out to the side for balance, whichever works for you, give it a go. And what we're doing is we're starting off with the weight down by our side. We're going to curl it up like so. We're going to come round to the side and we're going to come up over the top. And then we come down, back round and curl the weight down with control. This is a great one for working the whole of the upper body here whilst also really needing to work our core. You might fe feel that you want to base your legs a bit more to really give yourself that support, but it's an absolutely fantastic exercise. And what we'll do now is we're gonna do 10 reps together, 10 on the left, 10 on the right, and then see how you find it as you're following along. So start off, nice strong core, just because we're sat down doesn't mean we should be lax with our core. Our weight hanging by our side, chest out nice and tall, so we've got some good posture here. And here we go for 10 reps. One, up, down, down. Two, up, down, down. Three, up, down, down. Four, up, down, down. Five, up, down, down. Six, up, down, down. Seven, up, down, down. Eight, up, down, down. Nine, up, down, down. 10, up, down, down. Swap sides, get onto the other arm, have it hanging down by your side, engage your core, good, good posture and chest out. And here we go. One, up, down, down. Two, up, down, down. Three, up, down, down. Four, up, down, down. Five, up, down, down. Six, up, down, down. Seven, up, down, down. Eight, up, down, down. Nine, up, down, down. 10, up, down, down. And that's how we do the seated variation of the curl and press. If you find this demonstration helpful, check out the link down below for free access to our extensive library to stay injury-free while you're getting back in shape.